Good morning, everybody. So here's part two of the shadow box build. Um, again, this is just out of scrap wood that I had laying around in my little shop here. Um, so as you can see, the inlays here, where I told you the little pieces glue underneath the lid, that's where your plexiglass will set in all the way around. And then I said the two little hinges on the back, I inset them just a, a tad bit. Here's it with the lid opening it up. And you can see what I've done there. Just a couple in, inset little hinges inside of there. Um, and here's how it looks with the little trim glued on the uh, underside of it. I got to stain it up and, and get it ready. And what I'm, you'll see what I'm going to put in there. It's, it's really awesome. It's some things back from the early 80s late 70s that i've been saving for 40 something years and then these little pieces of trim in here these are going to go up on top once you get your plexiglass in place and i'll show you here if i can do this with one hand so i got my plexiglass cut out and measured up let's so try and get this to lay inside of here without breaking it So that's with the plexiglass in and then these the little trims they're just going to go along the side all the way around i cut them on 45s and it's just to hold the 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 plexiglass in place so when i raise up the lid it won't fall uh these are about quarter inch quarter round or from the home depot and like i said they're going to go in just to hold the glass in place. And once it's all stained up and stuff, it'd be really nice. But pretty simple build. The back is just an old piece of plywood that I had. I had a little trouble. I uh, went a little thin, a quarter inch on, on, the, on the lid. I should have went a little bit thicker. I had a hard time getting uh, little nails. Pan I had to use paneling nails on the sides here. To hold it together because one end kept falling apart so i'll know that for next time but i would recommend probably maybe going a half inch that way you got room to put screws in there or little nails in there to hold the 45s together but that's it guys it's a uh, fairly simple and uh i work on this while i got several other projects on that i'm working on I still got this concealment table to finish. I just got two new uh, flags out of the shop. The We The People flag and a regular American flag for my concealment flag builds. Um, those flags come in two sizes, 24 by 13 or 36 by 19 and a half. Once I get this all stained up and filled back up with what I got, I'll send you part three of it. You're going to absolutely love it, guys. Again, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments. And I will help you much as I can. But overall, like I said, it's a very simple build. Please like and subscribe. And you guys have a great day. See you next time.